combo because you'll just get a lot of damage in. There are no two, two dragon hearts because he's uh, too big to fit in a museum. Like, this is a hero museum. Let's see, there goes one, then goes the other, and I have a lot of meter for the rest of the fights. So, speed bunny with. Oh, I want S really badly. Okay, I, can, I think I can actually kill. I can kind of stagger it and I can kill. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got sticky key. You can actually you can kill those uh, pretty much in one sequence right there. Like the if you maintain uh, S rank for most of this, it saves a bunch of time. Even A rank actually is huge. Um, I believe the B rank is when the part or weapon is equal to the machine gun damage. So just maintaining high uh, rank is the hardest part about this game, or not dying sometimes. It kind of varies the on boss. Oh yeah, you get four ones by the way. But something I like about this is that a lot of the earlier bosses are significantly easier and easier uh, when they're in the pairs. Uh, because there's a lot of projectiles that can fly around with these guys. They can be very easy to just get caught off guard. Alright, A rank for Guppy. This is actually good because I should be able to not get hit for the most part. Though there's a ah, oh, I got spawned into. But it's also easy to build a meter, so as long as I don't take too many hits, I'll be okay. I have to make sure I'm not in risk of dying for the final boss. Because the final boss can very, very easily kill me. And that's that. So the final boss is like the ultimate RNG. Okay, if he gets Katana, he has every weapon I have access to. If he gets Katana, uh, I'm pretty much screwed. He actually doesn't have a machine gun or the, some of the special unlocks. Oh, this is cool. So I can just kind of kill him now. He's gonna fire a giant rocket. And that's it. Oh, time! Oh. Uh, huh? I'm eight seconds above this today. Damn. You did it. No, she did it. She beat him. It will actually be directly referenced. Also, she's very, very self confident right now. See, she did it, but we helped her out. Actually, wait, let me show the. I don't know if I can show this without skipping too much. Uh, best players of all time. Aww. Okay, so that's that for Bleed, and I guess Electronic Super Joy is the next game. Actually, yeah. tell us about Electronic Super Joy Medi Bot. Alright, so Electronic Super Joy released uh, last August, developed primarily by a guy by the name of Michael Todd. Michael Todd um, rules. It is a platformer with a very minimalistic uh, visual style and an electronic soundtrack. While making the game, uh, the person who did the soundtrack, um, guy but goes by Envy. Uh, actually made the tracks first, and then levels were designed around the tracks, which is not to say that this is a rhythm game, um, but the audio and visual all do play heavily into the overall game aesthetic. This is very much still a platformer, but the music yes. is highly integrated. It's, 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 a very, it's very um, mechanically minimalistic, uh, focused focused more on design. What's your estimate of this? I'm going to put 50 minutes for estimate, just Weak to be safe. Weak sauce. Weak sauce, yeah. Th this is a challenge. If you see this game and you think you can do better, do better. Because I, I would love to see more people run this game. Because there's kind of a surge, but I, I kind of died down from what I hear. It's, it's, it's so a really good, good game. It's so good. I'll do Electronic, Electronic Super Joy. Super Joy. What are you doing in Ireland? You're never gonna beat my record. What's your record? 26. 20, that's really good. I've got 19 so far. 19 is pretty good. Hmm? Uh, 50 minutes? Or 50. This one's a little bit longer. 50. 
15 would be pretty decent. That'd be a great time. That'd be some new skips. I cut the world record by quite a bit. All right, all right. yeah, this is, uh, you get, yeah, there's a mode where you can just get random uh, levels to spawn. And, uh, well, 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 I'm not going to go up on a tangent. Random uh, sets of levels. Yes. Yeah. With, uh, and actually, as you go uh, progress, it gets harder and harder. But I, I do strongly suggest, um, if you are watching this, do, do listen to the music. I think the soundtrack is one of this game's best features. Okay. Are we, are we ready on time? You're just doing uh, any percent? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So three, two, one, go. So this is a game where you move right and jump a lot. Here's me moving right and jumping. Sort of skip the plot, but the gist of it is a wizard stole your butt, and you want to take revenge on that wizard because he stole your butt. Now, I might be spoiling this, but I believe they do name him as a disco wizard. Uh, he is the Groove Wizard. Or Groove Wizard, there we go. I'm the Groove Wizard, that's me. I'm, I'm playing as the Groove Wizard right now. Um, I'm the main villain of the game. Is that the same wizard who Lover? Yes. Canonically, canonically yes. yes. <laughs> Technically, officially no, but canonically yes. Rewrite canon. Yeah. Um, I, and we can't really hear it right here, but this game has the best checkpoints. Oh sounds. yes, the checkpoint sounds um, are one of the. I, I feel are an important part of the game's aesthetic. A lot of people complained about them um, after the game's release. None of none of the testers did. I was one of the, the testers. So I was glad to know about this game, but there, were, there was a lot of complaints that I, I, I'm afraid of playing this game in public, people will think I'm watching pornography in a coffee shop. Um, the developer did eventually cave and add what he, what he termed PG mode, which both removed a few swears here and there, and um, made the checkpoint sounds much less glorious. So every now and then you'll see me reset um, the level, and that's because uh, for auto scroller sections, it will move you farther along, so it saves some time uh, instead of having to wait for the auto scroll. And uh, inter interestingly enough, it doesn't count for deaths. So if you're doing a uh, zero death runs, you can go ahead and reset, and it will like it can make a lot of sections significantly easier. On the topic of those intentional resets, um, some auto scroll levels will scroll a bit faster if you can get yourself up against the right edge of the screen, uh, but some do not. You just have to play the level to find out it's not perfectly consistent. I think this is one that does not, so the intentional reset is pretty good. Yeah, and there's like there's a, a teleport over here where if I don't reset, it's like 50-50 chance I'll die. Because sometimes, I think if you're close enough, it scrolls. Hmm, yes. I think those have all been uh, changed to automatically advance the screen when you go through them. In earlier versions of the stages, you did actually have to wait until the exit teleporter was visible or you would be teleported off the right side of the screen and instantly die. You know, I'm okay with it. Also, I love this level. I love the, this is a really cool level just for these. I'm, I'm glad you agree. This is probably my favorite level in World 1. And just, um, the, the music track that goes with it is really good as well, but I like the, uh, the visual gimmick of this level a lot. Oh, and I actually haven't said anything, but I have a smash attack, which uh, will instantly teleport you to the ground. Yes. Right now, you, you have your jumping and you have your smashing. Smashing is, uh, is pretty handy, you know, but we, we don't give the player too many uh, different, I guess, abilities all at once, so it's pretty easy for them to think, through, okay, what can I do here? It's, you know, some combination of moving left and right, jumping and smashing. And the smash, of course, is it's useful for dodging. You stop for a second when you use it, so for a speed run, it, it doesn't make sense to smash randomly. But it is useful for getting through a lot of situations, or if I need to uh, hit the ground earlier, it's huge for that. And while you were going off of those uh, jump tokens a oh, second yeah. ago, uh, you actually get a little bit more height off of them if you smash into them. Is, is that actually explained anywhere? Like, I feel like it's not. Um, it's until the ho holiday levels. Right, in the holiday levels, it gets told to you explicitly, but it's not too hard to figure out, yeah. um, as you can get a few skips in other levels by exploiting that. But you actually get less height off of those uh, bounce stars if you smash yeah. them. I forgot to smash right there. Oh no, the jokes! I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Medibot. It's yeah. okay, I believe in you. Really? If I don't, who will? That's a really cool way to die because that you have also to is a really great death. Um, <laughs> you have to really this work. This actual whole section is interesting. It's gotten a lot easier since the initial designs of this level. 
Um, those bounce stars were not there in previous um, previous iterations of the level, and a lot of the testers had trouble with that, and so it got changed. That um that death, I managed to like narrowly force my way into a, a tiny corner, whilst like right before smashing, which means that was like a pixel perfect suicide. <laughs> and that last jump right there from the bounce star off to the platform used to be a pretty much pixel perfect jump. You had to touch the very rightmost edge. Of the, actually, I'm going to shut up the beginning of this level. What if I die? It would reset. Yeah. Just, but would you feel bad? Right, so this, this is the level with the drop in it, um, because it makes for good trailers when you're trying to sell your game. Uh, it's also really cool if you don't know what's coming. Oh yes, it's tremendously cool the first time. It took him many, many revisions to actually get all the bugs out of this level. Um, for quite a while, re respawning anywhere on this level would cause a lot of video stuttering and other such problematic events to occur, but he got it fixed in time for release, so all's well that ends well. Something a little, a little bit safer about going for the, the exits, because it's very easy to uh, try and go for the last bit of the exit, but if I do scroll too far to the right, I will die on this okay. stage. Like, there it was a little bit on, on screen, but for, in, uh, for a very specific level, yeah. it makes it actually get older really hard. In most, uh, in most screens, Touching any edge of the screen is lethal. So here, the, the screen will scroll up as we move up, but, and it moves left and right. We move left and right, but going off the bottom will cause a death. Also, um, it, yeah, like it also makes the bottom uh, more lethal. So sometimes we'll make a jump, and the platform you were on is now uh, deadly. And this level has, I think, one of the hardest goal times in the game. Uh, yes, the gold time on this level is very tight. It took me at least five tries. Um, <laughs> but it, it's, it's sort of got a unique gimmick, which is that it's an extremely slow auto-scroller auto full of, op of missiles, and there's an achievement for beating that level without stopping. Uh, I, I've gotten both, and that was one of the harder achievements in the entire game to get. Uh, you also, I think, have... Uh, I think that one actually has two achievements, doesn't it? Yes, there's one for... Uh, doing it without stomping, and I forget what the other one is. I think it's just a time-based one. Yeah. And um, the, the way the uh, the end of the level scrolls into, into the game makes it very, very tight to actually finish the level. Like, you have about, I think, a three-tenths of a second window to yeah. get that goal time. You have to go for it before the exit is actually visible. Even, like, the very end, the very corner. Okay, let's even get this. The gimmick here is that we have these uh, disappearing platforms that turn into missiles when they disappear. Oh, I did it. I went right on accident. Oh, you did. Everyone goes right, and I always go right. And you're like, no, go left. You go right. It's the one stage. You don't go right at the start. What we're learning about here is this fellow, Pope. Let's uh, let him introduce himself. Cutscenes. Cutscenes. <laughs> Unskippable cutscenes. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Cover that up. Cover that up. <laughs> Cover that up. <laughs> This game uh, does feature some swears in parts. <laughs> so he's, he's going to be the boss of uh, first world. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's an extended boss sequence. The boss oh, sequence yeah. is in this game. So we have first the, uh, the Pope climb. He's really quick, everyone on chat is looking for a uh, roll call for everybody over here on the couch. All right, so I am Studio. I am Medibot. Alright, we're on our ship. Alright, we, 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 our friends built a spaceship for us and we're going into it, so now it's time for Gradius, I suppose. Um, this is kind of out of nowhere and is never seen again. <laughs> yeah, you do not enter a spaceship again. And like, this is a very easy boss fight, for, considering the game is significantly harder for pretty much all of it. Like, the hitbox on this is super generous, like I just kind of flipped through that there. Oh, I almost got hit. <laughs> oh, wait. And you can still crash into thing after, things after you've defeated the Pope, and mm -hmm. that, will, uh, that will cause you to lose. All right. Welcome to the chokes. 
This well, might go horribly. Welcome horrible. to the first of our, I guess, two token collection boss fights. So these little rainbow missile tokens appear, and you touch them, and then your buddy down in the bottom left shoots a missile. I know someone's going to say, you can control the RNG, that got patched down. Yes, it used to be that you could get a very predictable and therefore good pattern uh, by controlling the time at which you collected the tokens and the amount of time you stopped. Oh crap, screwed up there. Probably too many missiles uh, come around. Uh, but this has gotten patched out and so I don't know the full stress anymore. So even I will choke on this fight, so don't go This is a level that can be, uh, I think once you get used to it casually, it's still, it's still difficult because the missiles and the, the limitation in your movement is pretty significant from that laser, but it still can be done with relative consistency, but doing it quickly is where things get tricky. Oh, I think that might actually be it. If the missile hits. That was uh, that was the last missile. Right. Oh, he got me stuck under it. That's two platforms. That so was the that last missile. Laser attack. Before he actually starts it, there's a little sort of shadow indicating where the laser is going to be. Uh, originally, he didn't have that, and I complained a lot until that was added because I felt that it was just super unfair. Uh, I keep trying to go for overly zealous missile uh, crunches. If you, if you ever need to, you know, tag one of us in, we're all pro ESJ runners here. Just, uh, just give the word. Yeah, like two minutes. Like well, two minutes is a good time. Yeah, no. yeah. good run. Jesus. All right, that's good. Stop. That should be good. I just have to not die. Oh, okay, there we go. Yep. He'll, he'll still display so, the final animation. Even if you've done enough damage to him, he won't stop in the middle of one of his attacks in order to check to see if he's dead. Um, and that rotating laser attack takes a very long time. So it's good if you can finish him off before you get started on that. I was really scared about that last missile. <laughs> I saw it flying around like, I'm gonna choke, I'm gonna choke. By the way, uh, Pope's dead. Oh. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, uh, no, someone called this Someone one. else yeah. called it. This level has a no killing enemies achievement. Yes. Uh, this is the first level of World 2, and it lets you know it. It is a definite step up in difficulty from anything in World 1. Uh, I try to do the stomp as I hit the uh, pointer, so as a result, I'm going just a little bit too uh, low. A little bit, I mean, I stomped the floor and died. Uh, those pointers do not respawn. Once they're used, yes. they're used. But this well, is a game if, where you, if you respawn, they respawn. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's essentially like this game um, has enough mechanics where, like, if you die, it's, it's such a quick respawn to get back to where you were that it's not too bad. That's actually a uh, difficult jump, too. Yeah, those, those two jumps um, are a little less difficult than they used to be, but still uh, force you to sort of understand that you can do Mega Man style jumps while you're way off the platform. Perhaps even all the way off the platform. <laughs> no one gives yeah. The safest option sometimes is just kind of one of those things where um, it is a little bit slower, is to just like spam out jumps and attack, and you can usually kill most missiles that come at you. It won't stop like a huge barrage, but if there's like a, a narrow corner or a narrow stomping passage. Is, stomping is so great for getting rid of missiles, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Mm. <coughs> Which is why you don't get it anymore. Yep. We get double jump now. Get double jump. And this this level right here is probably my favorite level in World 2. How do you feel about it? Pretty good. Um, definitely very. Like it's a, it's fast paced, but in a different way because of the double jump now. Like double jump in a lot of games, it's kind of just like your main tool for movement. But now that it's something like new and special, like a lot of challenges come from using it. Oh, this this level I feel the reason why I like this level so much is because I feel like it does a very complete job of teaching the player about the double jump and <laughs> just what it is capable of. And you do not see the double jump uh, very much. It, it only comes for a few stages, but the limited uh, access you do get to it's pretty nice. So like all of a sudden I'm learning I can now double jump off walls with uh, and get the reset on it. Uh, do you know the skip view? Uh, if you go for that top middle arrow, you can just get it right away. You don't have uh, to go up the left. Oh, uh, like to the right? Dang. Uh, I'll show, this is a... Is this the first appearance of a frog? I think yes. it is. There are frogs in this game. 
frogs hate you. Yes, they do. But it's okay, they're frogs. They don't they don't know what frogs it's like to be know. hated. They don't know. Frogs don't know. You can't blame them. Are there any frogs in your life? No. No frogs in your life? You, you live a frog-free existence? Actually, I just watched uh, Magical Speed Adventure, so yes, yes, there are frogs in my life now. So you've got the safe strategy of hanging out on that sticky platform up there. Mm -hmm. There's also the you can fall dangerous and... strategy of ignoring that entirely, um, going up while the laser is going down, and there's about a one block high window where it is blocked off and you can sneak past it. That level right there is just an homage to Deadly Pixels. I love that game and I hate that game. That is my that is my I, feeling of Deadly Pixels. I feel similarly. I, I tried to speedrun that game, but it is very hard, and it is one it very RNG spec, or RNG skip. Yeah. Baby Pixel is a game that I will always offer for a marathon, and if it ever gets in, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. So this is the first level we see where the player has the double jump and has to deal with missiles, uh, now um, divested of their smashing ability to actually destroy the missiles. And even though it's an auto scroller, it streams relatively fast, you still want to stick to the right, which means that you're not really giving uh, a lot of good uh, narrow space to dodge the missiles because you're just going to start getting a very, very centered pattern. This is a game where doing IL strats does not uh, translate well into a run because there's lots of very narrow, very tight escapes. Can you get this done? I was thinking about it. I also, like, um, this is a bad habit that uh, you learn from doing this this run, which is uh, to hold right at the start of every stage because as you're falling from the spawn, you can uh, you can start moving. Yes. But the problem is, if you get used to that too much, you uh, will kill yourself in stages like this. Mm -hmm. I think these are actually the stages I had the most trouble with in the entire game. The ones where you're not allowed to just hold right? Yeah. And no smashes, so I can't just no kill smash. everything. No smash, just destroy the... Also, it's in my input there for some reason. What are these guys called? I don't think we ever settled on names for any of these guys. What do you call them? Uh, I just call it, kind of call it everything a mook in this game. I got I, I, I see what I'm doing wrong now. This is pretty. This is pretty choking. Ants, bison, and wooden. I don't know those guys. Hmm. Let's see. They seem very like Metroid-ish, but I'm not sure like which Metroid. <coughs> I'm the worst at knowing things about Metroid. What's um? The water boss from Super Metroid, like the you fight him in a dragon, kind of like like a like a horizontal dragon. Let's reset for. Oh, you reset missiles. there. I never reset on this level. It's much easier if you do it right from the start. Really? Because then I've, you don't have to wait for that laser. I've always had more luck with um, with uh, the reset, and actually, I, I, I was miss, I missed a jump that uh, makes it easier to not die. There's a fun little level called Hit Builds Kill 2, where they take away your double jump and don't give you your smash back either, so you get to deal with lots of nice stuff. Yeah, you have to you have to get the start there, and it takes a lot of time. It's faster to reset if you don't uh, miss the first cycle on that laser. This is one of the hardest stars, not the hardest, but one of the hardest stars in the game. It's in that little pit with the two rotating lasers. The timing is in incredible. It's, it's brutal. It's really nice though, um, you get a good rotation for that first cycle um, if you don't uh, reset at all. And I didn't do a frog. Which Winners don't touch frogs, studio. That's true. It's all true. I think that's the first appearance of uh, what we call uh, the jump rope laser in testing. And then you just have to you know, treat it like a jump rope. And then the, the, the safe strat for that last uh, laser is you just go ahead and Reset, and if you move to the right through the beginning, you'll actually uh, be able to fall right on through. Actually, let's let's go see strats. If you reset here, the enemies will spend a little bit longer to attack, mm -hmm. so you can get a little bit of extra movement without having to smash or worry about pretty much anything, unless you miss jumps. Don't miss jumps, guys. That's Winners an example. Don't miss jumps. Yeah, it's an example of what happens if you miss a jump. I hate to show it to you guys. I actually don't know what happened there. I'm very glad you're showing us. Yes. Uh, this is a um, 100 percent. States place exploration speedrun. So we you are seeing everything. Yes. You can uh God, I, I need to I need to slow down a bit, I think. Jones are hard. Um 
you can smash on projectiles from enemies like that. Um, I think I'm just at the very edge of these. So unfortunately, it's uh, resulting in me dying a bunch. And then I'm just seeing the missiles. The missiles here are, are very fast in this level. These levels. are fast missiles. You cannot outrun them. Uh, but since you got your smash back, you can smash back. And these enemies are awesome. I forgot they turned. They're, they're beetles. But, yep, they're beetles. They're good. But beetle. Beetle wants to, wants to fight you. And that's exactly what Beetle will do. Beetle does what he wants to do. You can smash these spikes. He doesn't kill them. But it makes it safe. And also makes the game beatable. Here, reset for the extra movement. I, like, what are these guys called? Helmet Same bugs. Helmet bugs, sorry. I just came up with that name now, but uh, since I like it. I'm a tester, it's canon. We stand there, uh, will cause those frogs to not attack, and you can see the end of the level. We're almost there. Now, like these, these last few levels are kind of all auto scroller, very dangerous. Lots of tight platforms and essentially the build up to going to the group wizard's hell. And sorry, Star, not today. I would be very interested at some point to see a 100% speedrun of this game, mostly because we included the stars in our Star and Yeah. That star is also really hard. <laughs> like, <laughs> the thing with stars is, uh, like, I just grabbed one right there to show it off. It, some are easy, some are just kind of, hey, have a friendly star. This, this guy's here to back you up. He's, he's the bro star. Other stars, not so much. Other stars will just kind of do their thing. And I always forget you can't walk off to the right. For that, uh, that little air, pit in you where you actually are safe. Um, it used to be that standing at the checkpoint, you were actually vulnerable to the laser. Um, but he slightly modified the level geometry there, so I'd stop warning. <laughs> Trying to get a little bit too tight. You can easily smash the platforms without hitting an enemy, which ends up being bad if the. These are some pretty pretty tight jumps. Yeah. yeah. Some of the, the harder stuff in the game too. Okay. And here, if you just go really fast, you can get a, a good cycle for this laser. Not that good a cycle. Okay. Yep. Watch your toes, studio. Watching my toes. I'm watching my toes. If you go too fast, actually, you don't have a platform <laughs> to uh, stand on because it will despawn. This is a slow level. This level's gimmick is, uh, turn on mud gravity. So if you weren't using the smash to uh, interrupt the move before, you really need to now. And I was gonna have a less than positive time there. You can, uh, it's, it's a bit more difficult to chase down enemies with a stomp, because since you stop moving, you have to be a little bit more forward. Stomping completely kills your horizontal. You go down, you go straight down, you do not do anything else. And it, as a result, it actually it, it's a really cool challenge for some of the enemies um, if they are kind of stuck in that position where they're, they're moving away from you and you have to hunt them down because of the level itself. Because uh, if you are stuck in that position, it, you have to make very tight jumps that you wouldn't assume to be tight, but surprisingly difficult. There are some enemies uh, coming up near the end of the game that just give it away, they attack, uh, stomping on them. I believe next is uh, the second run level. Oh uh, yeah, the, uh, the something. Right? Yeah. This is the most significantly hard one. Is, I only like a month ago learned the manipulation strategy, RNG manipulation for that, right? And then of course it gets patched got patched out. out yeah. I got these for that and integrated it into my runs. But the song's really good, so. That's, oh yes. That's good news. So this is kind of like that hook pipe where we need to go collect tokens, only instead of shooting uh, rainbow colored missiles at the tokenist UFO, we just have to touch these magical silver things, and then something good happens sooner or later. It's our first time summoning him though, so they're a bit iffy at it. Oh, that guy. Let me give it the old call Oh, wow. All right. Uh, you can still die while the screen is shaking, by the way. Um, so the only thing that can be now play. is what if a spiky or a Gordon spawn on me? But look, luckily that was it. Yeah, like, that was... Wait, so we summoned this guy. Why did we do that? Oh, they're new at it still. This is Gorg. Gorg has adorable little flipper hands. Look at his tiny flipper hands. If you get too close, he'll fire a laser. Yes, he has an eye laser because he wasn't great yeah. enough just being giant and teeth and flipper hands. We gave him his 
Highlanders. So these guys, the laser hands, 